Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Project Hospital where last time we built the TGC Tea Therapy Hospital and here it is in all of its wonderful, lovely, colourful glory and at the moment this is kind of just like a little emergency clinic. There's not that much kind of fancy stuff going on. We have ourselves a little reception, there's a waiting area, there are two doctor's rooms and there is a bathroom in the middle and that is kind of it right now. There's nothing kind of overly advanced going on, it's just a kind of little place to come if you've got a few aches and pains and all that kind of stuff. However, we are about to add some exciting bits and bobs. I mean, our next big challenge, I suppose, is over here, where we have to open a radiology clinic. And if we do that, we are going to get given $30,000, which is very welcome indeed. I mean, at the moment, we do have 56 grand which is a lot more than I thought we were going to have. I normally went it with no money because we built everything all at once, but no, we actually have 56 grand right now, which is not too bad. But yeah, 30 grand for building a radiology clinic is very good indeed. And of course, if we get that done as well, I think that does mean that we get customers coming in from the cheapo care insurance place as well. So we might get some more people coming through the doors who are of course going to give us some more money and all that kind of stuff. So we need to work on that. However, I think, first things first, we need to get ourselves a common room set up for the staff, so they can have a little sit down and a cup of tea and all that kind of stuff, and we do need to get a cleaning closet as well, because at some point it's going to get a little bit grubby around here, isn't it? going to have lots of people walking about, and you know, we're going to have ill people, and they might well make a little bit of mess around the place, so I think as well we do need to get ourselves a little bit of cleaning going on around our hospital as well, so let's maybe build ourselves a common room and a cleaning closet. The only thing is, where should they go? Where should we put them? Now, I'm thinking maybe we have our common room more central. I was thinking maybe we could put it down here, but then it's kind of out of the way in the corner, isn't it? If we put the common room sort of in the middle, that might make a little bit more sense. Now, if that corridor is going to be going all the way up there, which I think is the plan. Hang on, let's go to build some foundation, shall we? Uh, let's also drop the walls a little bit. If that corridor is going to be going all the way across that way, like that. That's going to go all the way up there. There's a little space just here where we could put a cleaning cupboard. That might go quite nicely. So how about we have that as a cleaning cupboard? That'd be okay. Cleaning closet. Sorry, I'm calling it a cupboard. I'm aggrandizing it by making it a cupboard rather than a closet. Um, yeah, okay. So I think that's what we'll do. So let's get some walls in place over here, I think. Um... Okay, hang on a second, hang on. Um, we don't need the corridor bit just yet, so let's just get the walls in of the cleaning cupboard. Let's have that, um, I don't know, something quite functional. I would. How about that? White tiles and white wall. That's quite functional, isn't it? That seems to be okay for a cleaning cupboard. Sort of fairly, sort of, you know, fairly clinical looking. Right, so rotate that round and go like that, and then rotate it round and do that wall as well. Okay, so now we have ourselves a room. We, of course, need a door because that's going to be pointless. So let's go to here. And I think we are going to want a staff-only door. Can we have one of those? Restricted area. That's what we want to say. So we want to say, nope, okay, no uh, no sort of you know, patience going in here, please. That would be bad. So I'll tuck that into the corner just there, I think. Uh, we are going to need some flooring, of course, in here. I'm thinking tiles because we're going to have kind of, you know, cleaning equipment. It's going to be sort of, you know, chemicals and liquids and things, and you don't want anything too difficult to clean. So how about, although, although I was thinking plain tiles, we could have some dotty tiles. How about we have um, maybe some green, maybe some green like that. Uh, oh, that's very unspectacular. Hang on. Why isn't that as green as I thought it might be? That looks almost grey. That's very boring. Hang on, can we do that a bit better? Does it look better like that? It looks a little bit better like that. Okay, that looks a bit greener. Okay, now the only thing is, maybe we should have made the walls with a green kind of stripe on them or something instead. Or like that, with the green sort of dots. Hang on, hang on. I know we just did the walls, and I know this is costing us money. Um, oh, do you know what? I quite like it with the green stripe. I quite like it with the green stripe that sort of says, you know what, this is cleaning. Cleaning happens here because there's green. So green is, you know, green is good. It's you know, a nice clean colour. So maybe we'll do that. And then what do we need to put into here to make it a valid cleaning kind of cupboard thing? So a shelf, okay, and a bucket cart. Okay, I think we'll put some of the stuff in as well. So how about we put the shelf in? How about we have, do you know what, let's have the entire back row full of shelves because then they've got lots of cleaning equipment and they can't sort of complain they haven't got the right things. And then, 
I think we'll have maybe a couple of those set up like that. And then across, oh, I've gone the wrong way in the thing, across that wall there, let's have a few of the bits and bobs. So let's have, um, I mean, okay, so let's have some sanitary equipment just there in the corner. That would make sense with the whole cleaning cupboard thing. And then we'll just have a sink so they can wash their hands. Uh, we'll have maybe a bin there and a bin so next to the door. And I think that'll be okay. A stainless steel cabinet. Why don't we have a couple of those? They're very expensive. That's why we don't have a couple of those. Oh my goodness me. They're $149 a piece. Good grief. And a plastic hamper. Actually, let's put a few of those in. Like that. There we go. I quite like that. That seems to be quite good. Okay, so that's our little sort of cleaning cupboard sorted. Now, the only thing is, with that... I think we need to get some people, don't we? We need to employ some people to go and work in here. Now, the only thing is, what buttons do I press to make people appear? Um, oh my goodness me, what was that? Department dress code, you say? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh, we can have dress... Hang on, can the doctors all wear pink? Right, the doctors can all wear a lovely shade of pink. That's quite nice. Is that going to make it quite difficult to understand who is who? Uh, so doctors in the clinic wear white. Doctors on call wear that kind of blue scrubs colour. Surgery scrubs are blue. Yeah, that's fine. Janitors wear orange. Technologists wear a kind of lilac colour. And nurses wear pink. I mean, I'm very tempted to change it round. I'm very tempted to change it round. I mean, I, it, these look a bit... These are exciting, but there are more fabulous colours. How about the doctors? I do like the idea that the doctors wear a lovely shade of pink. I quite like that. The doctors on call... Uh, do you know what? Maybe keep that. Maybe keep that. Surgery scrubs. Can we make them look a little bit more, a little bit more jazzy? Can they be that colour, please? Um, janitors. Uh, we're going to go for green with janitors because we've got the green kind of set up in our little cupboard thing. So maybe that can be yeah, the colour of cleaning, maybe. Uh, technologists, which is a very exciting phrase. You can have that kind of purple colour. And then nurses... You can have, yeah, lovely blue. We haven't got blue and yellow, actually. Hang on, how about that, then? So we can have the doctors. Or should the doctors wear geek cupboard? Maybe the doctors should wear geek cupboard corporate colours. So blue from the clinic, yellow if they're on call, and the nurses can have the lovely pink colour. How about that? That's quite good. I like that. And then, yeah, technologists with the sort of purple, janitors with green, surgery scrubs, a very sort of fetching shade of kind of orangey red there. Very nice indeed. Um, okay. Right, uh, yeah, of course, this is how we employ people, isn't it? I forgot about that. I was thinking, oh, no, where's the button? But no, we go here, don't we? So we need to employ a person to come and do some cleaning for us. Right, there is a clear sort of front runner of these, and that is Jennifer King down here, because she is a master janitor. She cleans like nobody else does, Jennifer. Um, efficiency, 63%. Dexterity, 74%. So she can, you know, proper leap around when she's handling a broom and all that kind of stuff. Um, she is an early bird, so she works more efficiently during the day. She's going on day shifts, so that's okay. And she's fast. So she's got quite high dexterity and she's fast anyway. So she's going to really sprint around the place. Um, yeah, okay. Jennifer King, in you come. Now, the only thing is, you're not going to be called Jennifer King, are you? So, okay, we need to go to our wheel of names to find out who is going to join us here at the TGC Tea Therapy Hospital. So we span the wheel and the lucky winner was the wonderfully named Royal Ladybug, which is very good. So there we go. We shall confirm that. And Royal Ladybug is now one of our wonderful cleaners who, let's be honest, make the whole place run properly. Without the cleaners, everything would just be terrible. So, yeah, they're a very important part of a hospital. So let's see, where are you? There you are. You're over there in a lovely you're fetching shade of green. That's very nice. Now, what are you doing? Do we have to give you like cleaning routes? Do you actually need to be assigned kind of areas to clean or not? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, let's watch. Let's see where you go. It's not very busy right now, is it? Got two people actually in with the doctors, but then we've got nothing much else going on. Where are you going? Where are you going? It's a very good... Hang on a second. Hang on. Where are you going? <laughs> You're going home. Oh, no. Did we book you in for the... Hang on. Did I put you in for the night shift or something silly? Um, no. You are assigned... Hang on. Where is it? You are assigned to the day shift. You're a janitor. I don't quite know why you're going home then. <laughs> I mean, it was lovely of you to pop in for a second. 
Not quite sure why you've gone home, but okay. Um, ah, there is no clear diagnosis. Okay, so Thomas Barclay is having a little bit of a problem. Okay, so consider adding more diagnostic equipment, laboratories or radiology rooms. The patient will leave soon. Okay, that's kind of forced our hand a little bit. So that is that chap there. Ambiguous results. Okay, so either this chap, he has a chest contusion... I'm not entirely sure what a contusion is. Ah, contusion, also known as a bruise, is a region of injured tissue, usually with purple discoloration. Or he has broken ribs. Okay, well hang on a minute. That one there says, simple fracture of one or more ribs with no damage to the surrounding tissues or breaking of the skin. So if it's got no damage to the tissues, then there won't be a bruise. Whereas a chest contusion says that it's a bruise, usually with purple discoloration. So either, has he got a bruise or not, Doc? <laughs> I mean, it's Dr. Penge. So Dr. Penge isn't, isn't as good as Dr. Dave, of course. Um, yeah, okay, I thought that might be quite obvious. But, okay, so I think we need to get our, um, we need to get our x-ray thing in. Because he needs an x-ray. That's what he needs. We need to go and you know, put him under the x-ray machine, see if he's got broken ribs or not. Okay, right, so we need to get that in as well. Okay, Doc, no, this is fine. This is fine. Also, yeah, our cleaner's just cleared off. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Royal Ladybug. It was it was lovely that you popped by, Royal Ladybug, but I'm not quite sure why you're going home, but okay. Have a lovely time at home. Come back and then do some wonderful janitoring. Thank you so much. Right, I think... I think... If we're going to have a corridor going off in that direction, maybe the corridor should also come this way. So maybe we could have our X-ray room just here. Because I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of trying to plan ahead a little bit as to where the corridor should go and how many rooms we can fit in. So what I'm thinking is, if we have a corridor here, then coming along like that, then going up like that and then going to there, we can have a group of rooms in the middle here and then we can have some rooms on the outside as well and then we can have rooms along the end. So we can kind of fill this bit up down here. I mean, maybe it would be logical to have our pharmacy over here possibly. So we have a pharmacy over here, so people go and get their treatment and you know get, get what they need to you know get what they need to do, get the doctors to tell them to go and pick up medicine, and then they can come down here and pick up their medicine on the way out. It would seem a bit silly to have our kind of pharmacy over there where it's nowhere near the way out of the hospital. So it makes sense for it to be over here, possibly. We do want to get a pharmacy in. So I think maybe, maybe that's what we'll do. So if we go to if we go to hang on a build mode. Could we put the x-ray thing here? But then do we want to put the staff room over here, possibly? Do you want them to be over here, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Or do the staff room, does that go over there, possibly? Um, do you know what? I think what we're going to do is let's put, let's put the x-ray place just here. So we'll have to build our little corridor, but that is okay. And then we'll build an x-ray room. I mean, is that enough? I don't really know. So let's go to this thing. Let's start drawing on some corridors because we love a nice corridor. So that's going to be a corridor. Take that wall out. That's fine. Then we've got that just there. Then what if we had another corridor going like that? It's not our foundations. It's saying that that's OK. And then we have another room like that. So that's eight by 11. And how big is that room now? One by nine. OK, so what we could do is then what we could do. Hang on a minute. Um, get rid of that. How do we how do we unzone that? Oh no, we've zoned out a corridor. We might not want one. Hang on, that's unzoned. Remove rooms. Yeah, okay, get rid of that. So what if we go to here, go to building. So we go, okay, so up to there is going to be our x-ray place. Because I don't know how big that needs to be. But that seems quite big. That seems big for an x-ray thing. And then we have three for a corridor. And then we have another room over here. There we go. I like that. We're going to have a nice sort of easy to navigate hospital. Many corridors, so you don't have to kind of walk too too, you know, too far to go from one place to another. There's always going to be a kind of a little corridor route. That is my plan anyway. And I think you can build multiple levels, can't you? You can sort of go up and down. So it's not like if we fill this up, it's not like that's kind of all the space we have. We can build upwards. We'll have to factor in places for, you know, elevators and lifts and things and whatever, escalators or whatever we have, stairs. But that's okay. So I think... That will do the job for now. So if we go to there, so go to corridor, mark that as a corridor for later on. It's not going to do much right now. And then get ourselves, um, well, hang on, we have to go to a different thing, don't we? We have to go to a different thing. So departments, hang on. How do we build the other thing? Open a radiology clinic. Right, hang on. 
How do we build the radiology clinic then? It's something different. It's a different thing. Hang on, how do we move between them? Ah, there. There it is. Radiology. Okay. So radiology. Oh, radiology needs many, many things. Oh, okay, right. I thought it was just one room, but no. Radiology needs its own little waiting room. Okay, right. This might change how we deal with things over here. And then it needs an x-ray room. That's fine. Cleaning closet. We've kind of got one. Can we not share a CAG room? What on earth is that? Um, okay, five by five for a CAG room, a CT room, an MRI room, a cardiography unit, and a sonography unit. Okay, that's quite a lot of things. That That's many, many things there. Oh my word. Okay, for now, I think we just need an x-ray room, don't we? So if we put the x-ray room here, let's zone that out like that, but then... We are going to need to have a waiting room. It needs a separate waiting room. So I wonder, can we possibly... It's going to get a bit confusing if we have a waiting room here for those guys and then a waiting room here for the for the people over here. So how about we have a waiting room set up over here somewhere? So we'll have a little waiting area just over there and then they can pop around the corner and call you out. I suppose we could. We could have... We build that out like that. We're gonna have corridors behind here. Oh no! Now it's all getting complicated. Ah, <laughs> oh, not very good at planning things like this. Okay, hang on. Rotate it round so we can see the back. So if we built on like that. So if we were gonna have corridors coming round the back, I don't think we need a corridor coming round the back. I think we can have another set of rooms like that, backing onto these rooms. So that should be okay. So I'm thinking maybe. Maybe you come round here, so you come round the corner, and then we could have maybe a waiting room, a waiting room over here. You could wait possibly in the in, like in a corridor. Maybe we could just have the corridor kind of break and then become a waiting room possibly. But is that going to cause problems? And then it'd be nice to have all the other kind of radiology rooms all together. So they do have their own little sort of department. Maybe they could have this bit over here. This could be the radiology, radiology corner or something, possibly. So if we build, uh, build that out like that, it's very expensive. It's 5,900 monies. The money is absolutely vanishing. Okay, five grand. So five grand to build that out. We're now down to 36 grand already. Oh, dearie me. Um, but yeah, so we can get that sorted. And then I think if we have another room along here, possibly... Hang on, we could have the waiting area in the middle and then other rooms kind of coming off it there. Okay, that's what I think we'll do. That's what I think we will do. So hang on a second. So go to the waiting room for radiology just here. So have a waiting room like that. So that's where they can wait for radiology. Then we'll have a corridor coming through like that. Oh, it's a different corridor to, the <laughs> to those corridors. Ah, oh, it's got confusing all of a sudden. Okay. Right, these can be special radiology corridors. It's fine. So radiology corridors it is. Hooray for them. Right. So at the moment, that is what we'll do. Oh, hang on a minute. No, it's not because that's rubbish. There we go. That's better. Hooray. So one big corridor, waiting room, and the x-ray thing. Okay, right. So waiting room is going to need something in it. So it's going to need like chairs or something. So let's just get uh, let's get a few things done here. We need some... Actually, you know what we do need? Walls. Walls would be helpful, wouldn't they? They're quite a good thing. <laughs> okay. Um, let's have... Uh, what are those ones again on the other side? They are... They've got a blue stripe. I mean, do we keep that? Do we keep the blue stripe? How many different departments are there? I was thinking, could we have a different coloured stripe for each department? But not by the look of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, and there's 10 colours. Bother. Okay, never mind, never mind. I think then maybe we'll have like a lilac-y colour then for the walls. That might be okay. And we'll try and keep the stripe, I think. So it was... that one, was it? Was it that stripe? Hang on a second, is that going to show us? Yeah, it's that. So maybe radiology could be this colour. That'll do for now. So again, we have to pay <laughs> quite a lot of money for walls and floors and everything else, but okay. Right, and then draw that on. Okay, so that is now looking good. And then we want to have the walls set up over here like that. And then, hang on a second, then that wall, and then that wall. 
Right, so there is the x-ray room, and there is the x-ray uh, waiting area. Okay, so then we need some flooring going on, and we need some doors. Oh, the inside of the x-ray room needs some walls as well. I have no idea what the inside of an x-ray room should look like. I don't really know. How about white exterior wall, patterned bottom? There we go. Who doesn't love a patterned bottom? There we go. Look, yeah, that looks okay. That looks okay. That looks fine. We shall have that. Do you know what? We'll draw that into there, actually. Um, and then go like that. And then go like that. Okay, right. And then we need a door so we can get in. And we need flooring as well. Crikey's. Okay. How about then? How about we have... I mean, that's just a solid block of colour, isn't it? The waiting areas could be the same colour as the, as the walls. That might make sense. So was it just dark coloured tile? I think it might have been that, mightn't it? Yeah, okay, that'll do. And then the corridors. I kind of want the corridors to all be a, the same colour. But then does it make sense if they're all a different colour so we can see what corridor belongs to what kind of department? That might make a little bit more sense, mightn't it? How about then we have... Oh, it's going to look... <laughs> My plan hasn't really worked. I kind of thought that the corridors would all just run through. Unless we do just have them all as as yellow corridors. That might make sense, mightn't it? Do you know what? We're going to do that. Otherwise, it's going to get really complicated and very unpleasant. Right, so like that and like that. Okay, that looks okay, though. That's fine. And then in there, what floor do we have for an X-ray floor? Again, not 100% sure. Let's have it on a theme of the colour we've gone for the X-rays. Um, let's have, uh, hang on, can we zoom in a little bit? Panels, flooring, what does that look like? Um, that's not very exciting, is it? Light lino with line, that's just black flooring. Tiles, I don't see it being tiles. I just don't see it having a tiled floor. Do you know what? Maybe those will do. Maybe that'll do for 790 of our monies. Oh, it's a bit shiny. It's a bit shiny. It looks like a kind of... <laughs> put glitter ball in there. It looks like a kind of disco floor. Are these bits going to light up in different colours. We can all have a boogie. Um, okay. Right. And then doors. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Double X-ray doors. Yes, please. We shall have those. And I think we'll put them just there, look. So put them there. So we can then... Yeah, we can have them going into the waiting area. So if we just pop those there... That's basically saying, yes, yeah, so look, x-rays are going to happen. Um, what have we got? 32 grand. Okay, right, hang on a second. Let's go and sort out the waiting area first. So we're going to need some TV things to tell people what's going on. To say, look, you're, you're up. You've got to go in and do your stuff. So I'll put two of those in. And then I think, can we have some things on the side here? I'd quite like that. I mean, I do like the whole water dispenser things. I think it's important to have these around the place. So let's have one of those in the corner over there. We'll have some... How about some modern benches going on? And let's have them... So they're all facing sideways. So I think maybe keep that bit a little bit clear. So have like that and that. Face like that. And then swivel sort of that round to like that and that. Swivel that round like that and that. So yeah, that's quite... That's what? Eight people... No, that's not eight. But that's 16 people that can wait over here. And then... Where do we put this? Do we put that on the edge there so you can get yourself a nice drink? Or maybe we have a couple of the machines back to back. That might work. So if we have, say, a coffee vending machine there and a fruit vending machine, not fruit vending machine, that's fruit, just a regular vending machine just there. Although we can have some fruit as well, like that look. So they're back to back. And then we could put a couple of fancy chairs there and there. Although that might be a little bit annoying. Do you know what we could do with putting down we could do with putting down some plants because we haven't got enough of those. So let's put down some nice plants like that. Look, there we go. Very good. Um, and I mean, what else could we put down? Where's just the, the sides? Where's just the like the sideboard type things? Hang on, can we go to the next page? Um, oh, that's where the bins are. Do you know what? We'll pop a thing just there anyway. Pop a little bin just there because that's quite good. Um, yeah, so go back. Oh, there's lovely... <gasps> There's very fancy potted plants. Oh, that's wonderful. I do like that. Um, yeah, I mean, we could put a clock. We could pop a clock up there just so people can see. Do you know what? Can we have one of those over here somewhere? Can we have one of those on the pillars? Oh, no, we can't. Oh, boo game. Never mind. Um, okay. Oh, there's a mug. 
There's a mug. <laughs> you have a mug on a table. Um, or a flower on a table. I think, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some of the, like, the table, you know, the sides in. And then we could put ourselves some fruit juice in. How about we just have a little coffee table just there. Go back into here. And then we can put fruit juice onto the table. There we go. So we're looking after our people, making sure that they are well hydrated and they've got snack options as well. Okay, so that's good. However, they do need the cue machines, don't they? Kind of forgot about those. Hang on a minute. <laughs> sort of forgot about the important things that they might possibly need there. Um, okay, we might possibly have to move the plants, which is a very sad state of affairs. Hang on a second. Let's just put one of them down for now. Right, pick up that plant, put it there. That's okay. Um, you might have to move the plants around. Oh, no, this isn't going to work at all. Hang on. Move the plants over there for now. It's okay. The plants are in the corridor. Not left enough room for these things, <laughs> which is a shame. Right, pick up that plant. Put that there. Put that plant like that and put a queuing machine in just there. That's okay. And then we have one spare plant. We'll just put that uh, there. For now, that'll do. That's fine. There we go. Everything is sorted. It's perfect. And now let's sort this out over here. So X-Ray. This is going to be horribly expensive. 9,499 monies. Oh my word. But um, yeah, okay. We need one of these. But what else do we need? Equipment cabinets. We'll put a tall equipment cabinet in. I suspect this room is potentially slightly too big, but it's fine. So put that in. And that removes the need for all of the other kind of cabinet things. So that's fine. And then we'll have an office desk. But I think if we put the office desk just there, and then we can have the actual x-ray machine thing itself sort of over like that, maybe. Is that the right way round for it? I don't know. So if we pop that in like that, we now have just under 20 grand, which is not very good to see, is it? Never mind. Uh, we'll have an office chair. Hang on. Proper exciting office chair going into there. And then we need to get a PC. So they need a computer on their desk. And then we need an X-ray control panel. So that can go just there. And then an X-ray viewer can go on the wall. Um, I mean, I'm thinking just there. So they can sit at their computer and then look up and see what's going on. Okay. So I think... That's it. I think that is everything they need to do what they need to do. And do you want to put some other bits and bobs in, like a dressing screen or whatever? Do you want to put kind of a screen in? Just put a couple of screens like that, maybe. Just to, you know, make it look a little bit more real. Um, wall mounted equipment. We don't need all of that kind of stuff. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Do you know what? Just to make it look a little bit more feasible, let's spend a tiny bit of money on some cabinets, just in case they need some you know, regular equipment, like, you know, a pen or a piece of paper or something. So there we go. I quite like that. Uh, oh, is there nothing? Hang on. Hang on. I know what we can put on here. We can put a mug on the table. Yes. Perfect. We put a mug on the table. Oh, it was a boring coloured mug. Um, and that's, that's the chair. I've moved the chair. Um, I want to click on the mug, ideally, but I don't think I can now. Uh, do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Right, so I think that is all done. So now, of course, we need to get a person to work in there, I think. That's what we need to do now, isn't it? We need somebody, a technologist, is it, to go and work in there. Um, so how does that work? So the x-ray room... Um, hang on. The waiting room isn't set up right. Why is that not set up correctly? Uh, is it because we don't have any radiologists? Is that the problem? People can't get to it. People can't reach it. It's not accessible <laughs> because of the lack of doors, Penge. That would probably be it. Um, okay. So I take that round uh, and again and again. There we go. There we go. So, I mean, do we knock that down? Do we knock that wall down? Or do we actually have a dividing door? I think we just get rid of it. Let's just get rid of that. Just take that down. That'll make life a bit easier, won't it? So go to there. Uh, okay, so delete walls. Yes, please. Away with you walls. And there we go. So now, hopefully, we should be able to hire people into it. Right, we need a technologist. Okay, who's good at doing the technology? We've got four options. Uh, Janine Martinez is by far the best option because she is a master scientist. However, 
also she is quite expensive but she is the best person that we have for doing the radiology okay maybe maybe we have to go for you i think you know, if you get enough people through the doors we should be able to make enough money to pay everyone's wage it should be okay um because yeah you're a master scientist you're 36 biochemistry is 33 percent but yeah you're not doing biochemistry you're going to be working in radiology which is 37 percent the person with the next highest radiology is Frank down here with 13%. So she's got nearly, is that right? Hang on, <laughs> math with pen. Yeah, almost, not quite, but almost three times as much radiology skill as the next sort of highest person. Yeah, I think we have to go for you. Okay, yeah, we'll get you on board because yeah, you're also the only three sort of, the three star, three, whatever, like three microscopes, is it? the best sort of person we have so we shall pick you and thankfully we've been given thirty thousand monies by the government for opening our very little potentially terribly disorganized radiology clinic but there we go that is okay that's very nice because we're up to almost fifty thousand monies again and we've got a whole new bit of the hospital built which is very good okay Right now, we do have a very important job to do because, of course, Jane Martinez is not going to remain as Jane Martinez. Sorry, Jane, we need to give you a new name. Let's go over to the spinny wheel of name choosing. And the spinny wheel landed on Danielle Grace. So welcome aboard, Danielle Grace. Thank you for joining our hospital. That is very good of you. So there we go. So now I think if we unpause time, there is Danielle having a little sit down. So do we now need to go over to Chappie? Where is Chappie? Right, you just there. Now you can do this look hopefully the doctor will say go and have an x-ray i'm thinking maybe now that's in that is what dr penge will do although dr penge is not the best doctor we have dr dave is by far the superior doctor so i do feel a bit sorry for thomas barkley here with his ambiguous results that i think we should be able to resolve ourselves but um hang on can we just do this ourselves can we say yeah x-ray his chest because that will make perfect sense. And now we can see this in action. We can see Danielle doing fancy technologist things. Okay, this is very good to rotate that round. So he's going to go and then book in, I imagine, over here. Oh no, he's going to go straight in. What's the point of the waiting room then? <laughs> right, he's going to go over here. And I imagine he just kind of, I don't know how this works. I imagine that's if you need to lie down. So that's a lie down x-ray and that's a standy up x-ray. I mean, does, I was going to say, he needs to take his um, his lovely suit off. Okay, so that's going to point at him. And then it's going to do x-raying things. Okay, taking a while, but you know, Danielle's jabbing the buttons. She's doing important button jabbing. Right, go maybe move time on a bit quicker. She's saying, wait, and now, fine. And then, yeah, she's having a look at the results. Okay, she got up to look at those. I put them there so you could sit in your chair and look at them. But okay, maybe you fancied a stretch of your legs. Um, okay, Brooke Clark has no clear di uh, diagnosis. Crikey's, hang on. Okay, right, hang on. let's go to Brooke Clark. Okay, what have you got? Um, you've got either... <laughs> I mean, the guy might have like a broken rib or something. Uh, you've got either nail fungus or athlete's foot. Uh, what are we supposed to do with this? Mycologic sampling. Well, how do we do even that? A microbiology lab? Is that what the medical labs clinic is? Is that what that is? Medical labs clinic. Is that one of these things? Medical labs. Okay, hang on. Can we click? Can we click that and see what they want us to build? A microbiology lab. Oh, crikey. Game, we've, we've literally only just built this and you're already going, hang on, you need to build another bit of the hospital. <laughs> Please, game, sl slow down slightly. Um... Okay, right, we'll get to that at some point. I mean, we might have to possibly make a little bit of a guess. Antifungal ointment for nail fungus or athlete... Oh, it's both It's both just the antifungal ointment, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'd say... I mean, okay, right, Dave Weowers is struggling with this. He's not sure whether it's a nail fungus or athlete's foot. Um, yeah, her current symptoms are crumbly nail and nail discoloration, which both sound very unpleasant. So I wonder, I mean, can we just say it, the, the chance is higher that it's nail fungus. So if we just go, yes, it's nail fungus and we give you antifungal ointment because that is the that's the treatment for both of those. So if we just go, yeah, go and get some of that, please. And yeah, if we did have our own pharmacy, then all the people coming in like you know, this person, here, Brooke Clark, would nip over to here and pick up her antifungal ointment from us. She would pay us for that rather than going to some you know other pharmacy across the road or whatever 
So that'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Um, okay. So hopefully, hang on, if we unpause time, you can get treated. I want to see what goes on with Chappie. What's going on with Thomas down here, who's being helped out by the wonderful Danielle Grace? Okay, so let's move time a little bit quicker. Are we going in for another one? Oh no, he's all sorted. Right, so out he goes. Insurance company can be contracted. Insurance company uninsured can be contracted to send patients. Okay, do we want to do that? Is that what we'd like to do? I'm not entirely convinced. Hang on, what does that mean? So they're going to give us some bonus objectives. Treat 10 patients per day is our current objective, if we accept that. They're going to send 10 people in, and if we do, we're going to have a 30,000 government grant. Oh, if we treat 10 patients per day. But are they uninsured? Um, what does that mean there? What's that thing? Uh, cover cost modify for patients sent by this insurance company. So they're going to cover 70% of the cost. Uh, do you know what? It's fine. There you go. We'll have some more people coming in as well. Hooray! Um, oh, I misunderstood the initial objective with this. And so people were coming in from cheapo care. That's what that goal is coming from. Oh, I see. Right, I see. Okay, that's fine. So we have two companies now that can send people to us. So we should potentially see things getting a little bit busier. Okay, yeah, I misunderstood how that worked. I thought... Uh, hang on, where is it? I thought to get cheapo care in, we had to meet their objective. But no, they're already sending people to us. That's fine. I mean, yeah, what are these ones here then? So liver, TY. Like, how do we get them on board then? How do we sort of unlock these? We can only have four. I wonder if it's a certain size. Maybe it's whether we have so many different things. So maybe if we open up some medical labs, these people might say, ah, yeah, okay, we'll start sending people to you if you would like that. Okay, that's fine. Right, there's um, there's Chap. Let's have a quick, let's see what's going on here. Right, he does have a chest contusion. Okay, so that's now official. That is sorted. Dr. Penn should hopefully be able to kind of work that out. Um, that is, who's that going to the loo? Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca Burden's going to the loo. Rebecca, we shall leave you to go to the toilet in peace. <laughs> there you go. We've kind of tried to not focus on that. There you go. Hopefully it was a lovely time in the loo. Um, right, and then... We just want to make sure that he actually gets his treatment. So there you go. So we're washing our hands and tippy type in a computer. Right, he's going to sit on the lovely couch, which is good. Um, I mean, yeah, it's not ideal, is it? We need to have them... <laughs> really, she should be facing the other way. Because at the moment she's chatting and they're behind them. Maybe we do need to turn these round. Somebody did say that. Um, this is going on for quite some time. Somebody else is being x-rayed. Oh, very good. Okay. And... I think he is leaving and he seems to be quite jolly. He's got a smiley face above him, which is good. Okay, so he's been sent away. Right, marvellous. So I think, yeah, he's now dealt with. He's gone. Uh, we've got somebody over here. What are you in for? Sinusitis, bronchopneumonia, simple chronic bronchitis, aspergillosis or histoplasmosis. <laughs> wow. Wow, as a person who doesn't know medical things... These all sound complicated. Sinusitis, I know what that is. I've had that before. That was horrible. Um, Pneumonia is obviously horrible. Bronchitis, one of the kids had that before, I think. No, was it the bronchitis? They might have had that. Don't know about these two here. But anyway, there we go. Right, so we've got patients coming in. This is good. We've got somebody waiting. Don't quite know what you're waiting for. Somebody else. Oh, oh, you're not well. You're not well, Joseph Barkley. You're hobbling around. You're very much hobbling. Um... Okay, what was the other person called? Was he not called Mr. Barclay? Okay, go and have a word with Rebecca. She's very good, is Rebecca. Receptionist Rebecca is amazing. Um, yeah, leg injury. <laughs> I mean, I picked up on that. And I, I'm up in the sky looking through the roof. Okay, right, so he's not well. That chap is also not well. He's hurt his ankle as well. Right, okay, we've got some injured people hobbling about the place. Um, okay, wonderful. That seems to be looking pretty good. I'm very happy with that. I mean, do we want to add on to this over here? Do we want to add anything on? Have we covered... Oh, we haven't got a staff room yet, have we? We need to get a staff room in. That's kind of important. I think maybe... Hang on. Rotate things around that way. So if we have a corridor going out that way... Oh, it's raining. It's miserable out today. Uh, have a corridor going out that way. I think maybe we put a staff room for our people who work over here, so in the clinic -y bit, in the emergency bit, they could have their thing over there. They could have their staff room there. And I think when we get that in, that'd be very good, because that means we've got ourselves a cleaning cupboardy thing, we have a staff room, 
and we've got a new kind of x-ray department thing as well which we can build upon okay we're gonna have some problems aren't we it's another nail fungus athlete's foot thing but yeah the treatment is the same it's antifungal ointment so it should be fine who are you walking around outside in the rain <laughs> oh they're coming in from here they're coming in from here look so they're having to walk all the way round the outside of the hospital Okay, no, that's fine. That's okay. That's where the door is. We can't really help that. If we'd have built the door over here, people coming in from this side would have to walk a little bit further. That's just the way of things. Um, yeah, I think let's go to here for a second. Let's get ourselves... Uh, hang on, spin it round that way. There we go. Right, so put that across like that. I think we have a bit of corridor going that way. And then we have our little sort of common room, break room type thing there. And then we have more corridor going up that way. I think that's what we do. So let's get some walls in place. Um, we want these to look nice. We want these to look all sort of comforting and lovely. So maybe, maybe we go for, go for the blue. Maybe we go for that look. So a mixture of the nice sort of brick. Is that, is that going to look good? Does that, oh, hang on a minute, I can't see. Does that look good? <sighs> Not overly. What about that one? Does that look okay? That looks a bit better. Do you know what? We'll go for that, I think. We shall go for that. So let's have... Oh, I didn't mean to do it all that way. Hang on a minute. Uh, hang on. Rotate it round again. Uh, so hang on. One, two. Uh, one, two, three. So like that look is what we want. Bring the walls back down again. It's quite hard to see like that. Uh, and then bring that across like that. And then rotate that round. We've got a little tiny bit that we haven't covered there. Okay. Right. So that's good. And then we need to get this bit sorted so we need to knock down that wall section there which i imagine is going to make the hospital very fussy because it's then going to go ah there's there's no the, you know the hospital is open to the elements what is happening uh so then go to here just so i remember so common room for the people over in our emergency bit can go just there very nice and then we'll expand their corridor to go like that and all the way up there Okay, right, that is looking good. Then we need to get the walls done over here. So we need to go back to uh, that one. So that's going to be like that up to there and then across to there and then round on that bit just there and rotate it round and on that bit there. Okay, so we've got that back. Then floor, yellow solid tiles, whatever it was, just so it looks good like so. And then in there, in the staff room, again, we want it to look sort of lovely and comfy, don't we? How about some wooden flooring, some dark wooden flooring, perhaps? Hardwood flooring, like that. Yeah, that looks okay. That looks fine. And then a door. Can we have another restricted area? Just so we know that the uh, the people aren't going to go in. Yeah, the, the, sort of, yeah, the patients aren't going to wander in thinking it's important. Um, where do we put the door for that? Let's pop that there, look. And then if we click on this, right, so we need a few basics in here by the look of it. So let's get, let's get a dining table set up in this corner here so people can sit down and have a little bit of a break. We'll put two of them in actually like that. And then we need some chairs, I imagine, to sit at the dining tables. So we've got ourselves some dining table stuff. That's all set up. Then we need a sofa. So let's put a sofa just there. A couple of those. Uh, what else do we need? Coffee machines. That's a bigger coffee machine, possibly. A uh, bookcase can go on the wall. That'd be okay. Just pop that there. Look, mind your head if you're standing up from there. Um, why do you need a lab sink? Why would you need a sink in here? I suppose you might want to wash your hands, maybe. Um, and I think we could have ourselves in the corner. I mean, can we have like a, yeah, like a cabinet or a coffee table and put a TV up on there? Can we do that? So we could have, hang on, put a coffee table there. Put a radio on the coffee table and then can we put a tv on that little coffee table there yeah okay that'll do a meal counter oh that's exciting hang on can we have some meal counters maybe i should have made this room a little bit bigger i didn't kind of think it was going to be <laughs> this busy uh, we'll put a couple of meal things in that's exciting and then a water dispenser because it's very important for them to remain hydrated Okay, yeah, I quite like that. That seems to be quite nice. However, what it does lack um, is, of course, some lovely plants. So I think maybe one like that. And it also lacks a bin. So let's put 
a bin in that room as well. Uh, yeah, I like that. We'll put another one just there. Look, put another bin in. Is there anything else we can put around the place? I mean, a clock might be quite useful because, you know, they might have to go back to work or whatever. So if we put a couple of clocks around, um, a notice board, that might be worth having. Can we put that sort of... Uh, can we put it behind those things? No, we could put it behind the radio. A little notice board in there. Yeah, okay, right. I'm happy with that. So hopefully that should be a valid... I oh, know there's no coffee machine. There's no coffee machine. They're not going to like that. Okay, that might have to live on one of the tables. We'll put a coffee machine in on the table. Okay, so I think that should be done. So if we go... Yeah, if we run time on, are we going to see people going to use our little kind of staff room type thing? Is that where you're going? Oh, no. You might be going to see your patient, possibly. Um, okay. But there we go. I'm quite happy with that. I like that. But yeah, we have somebody with no clear diagnosis. That's a bit unfortunate. Although, I think we did send her home anyway. So she seems quite jolly. That's absolutely fine. Got more people coming in. Look, you're coming in. I don't know why they go in to sit down. So she came in. She sat down. She got all comfy. And then she's going to get up again and talk to the receptionist. Talk to the receptionist first and then go and have a sit down. <laughs> what is that about? Maybe... If there's a queue, they go and sit down first. Although, why wouldn't they join the queue? I don't mean no. I don't get what's going on with that, but okie doke. Um, right, okay. This is all looking very good. So we've got ourselves a little kind of staff room now, as well as a potentially slightly too big cleaning cupboard, but that's okay. And a whole new area. We have a radiology department now, which we do need to make a little bit bigger because, yeah, it can have in a CAG room, a CT room, an MRI room, cardiography and sonography. But I think right now we've got the x-ray in and that is probably all that we need to do. So I'm quite happy with that. I think that's looking very good. I'm quite happy with the fact that we've got that in. It's a whole new entire department. We've got a little break room down here as well. So I think we'll finish up for now. Money is looking okay. Just under 40 grand as well. That is not too bad at all. I'm a little bit mystified as to what happened to the cleaner. I don't quite know where the cleaner went to. <laughs> I mean, why did the cleaner clear off? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, Royal Ladybug, if you could come back and do some cleaning, that would be wonderful because you're at home and I'm not entirely sure why you're at home because I don't really know why. I mean, do we have to designate areas for you to clean or something? I'm not entirely sure. So that's a little bit weird. Maybe I need to look into how the cleaning stuff works. I'm not really sure how that functions. But, um, but uh, yeah, we'll look at that next time. And I think... Our big goal for next time really has to be getting in some medical lab stuff because we have seen some people requesting that now and that will give us some more lovely things. What's that going to give us? That will give us, if we can build that, 50,000 monies. That is a lot of money for building some medical labs. So I think, yeah, we invest a little bit in getting that done. We do only have 40 grand to play with, so we might need to be a little bit more careful with how we do the building. Might need to do a little bit of planning, possibly, if we can imagine such a thing. Planning in the geek cupboard, it always goes so well. But um, yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Get those in next time, because yeah, a few people have been requesting them. But you know what? I think that's all for next time. We'll leave it for now, come back next time, and see how we get on with all of our lovely medical goings on. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Project Hospital. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well, and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>